Bodie and me were very close. Bruce and Bodie and Stan Hansen, the first time I ever went to Japan, the first time they heard of Manny Fernandez being from West Texas and breaking into business, those guys took me under the wing, took care of me, spoiled me to death in Japan. I'll never forget that. And then me and Bodie in San Antonio together, in Santa City together, but Bodie come in, they always they took care of me. I don't know why they took care of the guy. Uh, they respected Murdoch and Funk that much, and, but they were always there for me. If anything happened, they were always there for me, especially Bodie. And, you know, you did something like that to a guy that I cared a lot about for, I try to kill you. I will try to hurt you bad. That's just me. You know. Plus, we have that West Texas boss. Everybody in West Texas is very close. Send me and Tully. So what I happened to that with you in Invader 3? You, you need, I guess you need him or, or you yeah, basically... Yeah, the sternum. Right in the sternum. I dropped three knees on the sternum. Yeah, the sternum's right... You know where sternum chest cavity is. It causes it to bleed in the chest cavity. Yeah, you spit it out. It's the only way it's going to come out. It can't come out your, of the other end. Might have, I don't know. I was looking at it. <laughs> no, it's payback. Hey, the Japanese. I was, I was flying in for Tokyo and do that shot. It was uh, Atlanta, Tokyo, and then back, Puerto Rico, Atlanta, back home. But the Japanese, when that happened, they changed my ticket around. They didn't want me to go to Puerto Rico. They knew what I was going to do. Especially Masao, and Masao Hattori. Hattori has known me since 79. They knew what I would do. So that's why he told me to change my ticket. I said, don't change my ticket. You know, but, you know I have no to say. What was the back lid? Excuse me? What was the, the backlash from Invader 3 and from the WWC? Was there a backlash? Like, for you basically injuring him and kind of making him you know, grow up and everything else? I was wrong. I left. I knew what would happen. There was backlash. Was you know, uh, I went back. I went back, and uh, they said a couple of things fishy happened in the dressing room. The lights went all out by myself, and a guy named Gary Albright and Harley was there too. Harley and Gary, when I went, hey man, all the lights off. What's up? What's up? And I had a bottle of shampoo in my hand, so whatever I could do with that. I did because those guys use big ass, big old knives, you know. And and Gary Albright, I don't know if you ever heard of him, but the guy was awesome. Yes. And Harley came running yeah. downstairs for Nyman. I had a cool off, too. Nyman, where are you at? I said, over here, man. So it's funny how that happened. But I guess they were watching me, too. Albright was Albright was great. He was, he was like, he took me on his wing, too, but that guy was awesome. Lesnar. <laughs> Albright, he jumped Lesnar and spit him out like he was nothing. I don't know if you heard of Gary Albright, but University of Nebraska, all Americans. Albright was awesome. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. Bad. I love bad guys. <laughs> you know that? 